I'm using coffee ground guys and there's multiple ways well there's two main ways you could use coffee ground you could just sprinkle it on your soil or you could mix it with water and dilute it what I like to do I like to sprinkle it with on the soil because I will use it basically to get rid of ants any kind of bugs that do not like coffee grounds and then later on I'll come back and maybe I'll give it a day and then I'll come back and water it and when I water it then the plants will benefit from it so I'm kind of I kind of use it from all to all my plants especially tomatoes cucumbers and stuff like that coffee ground adds a lot of uh, uh, nitrogen it adds nitrogen it adds a lot of other stuff to help the plants grow and um, the other thing too as I said bugs bugs are not a fan I literally throw on some ants and I saw the ants them literally like running away from coffee ground and use coffee ground guys if you're not a coffee drinker go to your local coffee shops they have a lot of coffee grounds um, mo I went to one or two places before and they they give it to you for free you don't you don't have to pay for it so that's a good thing of coffee ground and if you're trying to keep your garden organic and natural coffee ground is the way to go guys you know it works it, it does helps a lot with the bugs a lot of bugs don't like to smell it or even like if they eat it they can't stand it and then the plant you know benefits so much nutrition from coffee ground you just don't want to put too much see I put like a light layer like that around it don't put it on your leaves guys put it on the soil and uh, basically we drink a lot of coffee like the tomatoes right here I've been doing it every uh, two weeks every two weeks uh, I'll come and um, throw coffee ground because as you could see if you want to if you see bugs in your garden you definitely want to do this or if you you know you need to boost your plant up anywhere they're producing a lot of veggies they're gonna need to they're gonna need organic um, fertilizer or something so if you don't have any organic uh, fertilizer and stuff you could just add some of this for now but uh, this is not your general you know fertilizer you're gonna use this is something if you don't want to use fertilizer in the meantime you could just use this so it's not it's I wouldn't say it's not like a hundred percent fertilizer but it's like you know something to help and boost your plant up and keep away the bugs from your garden do not use coffee grounds if you now have new seedlings and stuff like that uh, just use it on mature plant for some reason this year my garden has been attacked by a lot of bugs so coffee ground is the way to go guys I add it early in the morning and then I'll come back either this afternoon or tomorrow morning and I'll water the coffee ground right into my soil so it will dissolve and go right into my soil and help in my plant I just wanted to show you guys you know that in my garden I use coffee ground so if you guys are new to the garden world or you guys want something else to add to boost your plant or help getting get rid of some ants and little light bugs uh, these guys want coffee ground wouldn't get rid of like squash bugs or fine borders i don't i don't think so all right guys so thank you guys so much for watching green tea it's a short video if you're new always guys uh please subscribe it's 100 percent free it's getting really hot right now so guys go ahead and get yourself some used coffee ground that could benefit you in two ways helps you with bugs to get rid of bugs in your garden and it gives your plant a boost of nitrogen and a lot more other stuff. I'm going to leave the, all the details in the description box if you guys want to read up more about coffee ground. And if you're not a coffee drinker, guys, go to your local coffee shop, especially Starbucks. They'll give you for free. And come in here and sprinkle it. If you're using it for pests, sprinkle it and leave it a day or two before watering. Because the, the ants and everything, it has to be sitting like that on the ground. So the ants are literally like running away like right, right there. He's like running away. Look at that. Told you guys it works. I've been doing this a lot, guys. So it's not something I now added in the garden. So if I'm using something new, guys. Are trying it the first time. I will tell you guys that I'm trying it out for the first time. But this I done this uh, several times. So it's been working good, and my cucumber plants has been benefit a lot from it. So it's been working really, really well. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching Green Tea Garden. I'll see you guys next time.